Mr. Macy, is it painful for you to recollect that incident with Evelyn Anders? No, man, I want to talk about it, because I've been reading all this stuff in the papers, and it's crap, most of it. One, she was invited to teach that class at the university, that where I met Evelyn. She was invited. She didn't wander off the street. That's crazy. Two, she invited a lot of people to her hotel room, not just me. I don't know why the rest didn't go. Three, I willingly was drinking. I know I was 16, but I was willingly drinking. Um, Maybe it would have been better for my first sexual experience if I'd been conscious, but that's not her fault. And then finally, that whole thing with the policeman and the firemen, the jaws of life, totally excessive force. We, she, I think would have ultimately let them in. I think. I dream about it a lot. I have dreams. But I don't blame her in the dreams. It's my mother. My mother. You ready, honey? All set. <sighs> Did I ever tell you that a while ago I married the most beautiful girl in the world? Really? Mm -hmm. And who would that be? You. Our first guest is a familiar face to people here in Versailles. He's the pharmacist out of the Rexall on M74. So many of you may know him from getting your medications. I get my medications there. What you may not know is that he is a champion badminton player. So please join me in welcoming local badminton legend Robert Sprague. Bob, now, you've been playing badminton all your life, right? And you've won championships? I was champion of the Rogers Lake Badminton Tournament last fall. I imagine this is a fairly strenuous sport, right? And there's a, a, it's a mental game, too. There's a lot of strategy. Oh, yes, it's important to stay cool under pressure. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the history of the sport of badminton. Yes. the. Uh, the game of badminton, as we know it, originated in India, where it was known as Pune. Pune? Yes, Pune. And was Pune pretty much played the same as modern badminton? Uh, I don't know. Now, when you play your championship games, is there a strategy you use that gives you a competitive advantage? Well, I basically just try to put my cock where they can't hit it. You were going to demonstrate some serving techniques. Yes, uh, deceptively simple. Um, around the head four. And for those of you thinking of picking up the wonderful sport of badminton, we have a wide array, of, a wide array of badminton supplies at Hooger Hyde and Sons in downtown. For sales where my husband Hoyt and his friendly staff can help you. Oh, oh. Holy Mother of God, he's peeing himself. <laughs> the 
Can you hear me calling you? I was reading. Just reading? Yeah. Have you been drinking? No. Let me smell. Let summer smell. Mm. Let summer smell. Sorry. No. Let summer smell. Mm. Let summer smell. You are not gonna screw this up for me, Colin! Oh! You get. You get. Help! Oh! Out of the bitch! I'm sorry. I'm sorry.